Hola a todas, todes y todos. Estamos una semana más en la entrevista de Eurovisión Sound. Esta semana contamos con Leia, eh, una de las participantes del EMA esloveno que se presenta este año para poder ir al Turín 2022 representando a Eslovenia. Hello, Leia. How are you? Hi, guys. I'm very well. Thank you. Uh, how do you feel? You feel nervous about your presentation the, the next 12 February, I think? Well, I feel a bit nervous, but mostly excited because it's like a big stage and my dream. So, yes. <laughs> so we have to do, first of all, a little explanation about uh, how Slovenia selects the entry for Eurovision is through the EMA and also the EMA Fresh. So if you can explain us, how does it work, please? So that's like a new rule. Um, they, Emma Fresh has been going on like now for the second year, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's a competition for young, unestablished artists who don't have released, who haven't released um, more than three songs mm -hmm. um, publicly and that are less than 30 years old. So I, I was put in that category and I first had to um, go through this competition and like win above the other artists who are same age as me. I'm 21 years old, so mm -hmm. I'm young. So young. I'm not, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm unestablished, so I'm not famous here yet <laughs> but um yeah after that we had no, first uh -huh. we had like this online competition on instagram and uh -huh. people uh, were voting through their phones um and then we from 40 uh, from 24 competitors they choose 14 for the um television show uh -huh. that was aired last Friday and I made it to top four and now we are going to Emma and that's like the competition uh, that they select um, the best act to go to Eurovision then and on oh. Emma there are famous people yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay. famous Slovenian singers <laughs> yeah of course so uh, you will be competing in the second semi-final on 12 February Uh, yes. with the other competitors, uh, the other famous uh, singer from Slovenia and one of the, one of the um, finalists of uh, the MFRS2 because there are two finalists there in that semi-final. So yeah. uh, how is it competing with uh, the most known or uh, the known people or known singers of Slovenia? You feel the pressure or what do you feel? I mean, I think we all feel the pressure, but like, I don't consider myself any less worthy because I'm new and we are all fighting as hard as they are. So I just like want to be the proof that we young new artists are like fighters and we can compete with like the best of the best. So the pressure is there, but it's fun. <laughs> So, um, well, you can relax. You have uh, maybe one week to put it yeah. in order, so to calm your nerves. And it's all going to be fine. Don't, don't be pressed. Let's hope so. so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. So, also, um, you have a song. The, the name is Naked. Uh, yes. What is the message that do you want to, to send with the, your song to all the audience from Slovenia and also from, the, from Europe because you can be selected for, for represent your country? Well, the song is actually very emotional. It talks about love and it talks about that you gave everything to someone that you love very strongly and they just left and you like got out of your own skin, um, told them all your emotions, gave them everything, and they just kind of left you there, standing naked, bare naked in your bare skin. So, so uh, it's, yeah, it, it is a powerful message, of course. Yeah, and powerful. It, it, you think that the message is the, your strength 
be, uh, between the other competitors or what do you feel what is your strength or what um, naked has to be selected for for represent Slovenia in the next uh, Eurovision Song Contest? Well, it, when we were doing the song, I was doing it by passion. I wasn't like, um, I mean, I, I want to go to Eurovision, but all I put in this song is so much love. So this song was created with love, not just like for the show. So it's very personal. And I think when the song is personal and it suits you very well, it talks like what you went through. It's kind of like the people who watch Eurovision could see that it means so much to me and that I can be very vulnerable and emotional and it just talks story. It tells a story and also like we are different than others because um, the song is very focused, focused on my strong vocal and it just goes around me and um, we have like this really good idea like show put together uh, with, uh, which is very different than the other acts here in Slovenia. I mean they, are, uh -huh. they will all probably be great but like <laughs> I have something different planned so yeah it will be kind of a shock. <laughs> So uh, um, you have this message, you have your voice. I, I have watched your entry uh, in the EMA Fresh. Um, I really like it. You have a special Thank connection with the, with the camera, it's true. You have this uh, je ne sais quoi. Um, it, it would be some difference from the performance in the EMA Fresh uh, for the EMA only the EMA, yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, the regular yes, EMA, course. I don't know how to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like Emma, 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 Emma it's actually sorry, a name sorry. in Slovenia, yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, the performance will be different because people are now, when they, they, already, they have already seen me, so people will be expecting even more from me now because <laughs> I have already been on stage and now I have to just put on an extravaganza so yeah i will make a show make it, maybe you can tell us something because we here in spain uh, we are not to tell some someone uh, the secret that you have told us about your performance about your stage and maybe there is some kind of change in the clothes because i have seen i i really like your clothes because it's like a second skin but with diamonds or something like that uh, yes. So it's really, really nice to watch and it's really, really good on, on camera. So maybe you can tell us nothing, con nothing concrete, but something general. Well, I mean, the clothes were actually specifically made in the concept of the song. I want it to be like in the color of my skin because the song is called Naked. And I want to throw on like some glitter and crystals because it's like a magical vibe, you know? I also mm -hmm. move like that with my hands and it just yes. puts on like some something, I don't know, it's just tasteful. Um, and actually, the, well, the, the dress was created by a stylist here in Slovenia called Lea Bihek. She's mm -hmm. amazing. And... We'll maybe change a little bit, but not a lot because <laughs> it has been actually made um, with the concept of the song and I want to keep it like that. No, oh, it, it's so nice. I, I really, really, really like yeah, it. And, thank and you it's, very much. Yes, it's, uh, yes, it's so connected with the song. And uh, I have a curiosity from, for, from Slovenia. Um, you have uh, a revision there is like a fun thing or it's like a um you know a event followed um for all the audience in the in the country um sorry can you repeat the question yes um you know you we have a, a revision is something like maybe there is something like a fun thing only watched uh, by fans or all the people oh, watch oh it. yeah yeah, I mean, it's actually the most watched 
music show in Slovenia. I think like a lot of people watch it, not just the fans, but like the fans are more included in it. They comment stuff and mm -hmm. something like that. But like, even if people don't watch it, they know what is going on. So because it talk, it like the talk goes on in Slovenia so much about the show. And yeah, it's like when it's a revision time, like it's amazing here in Slovenia. You, you hear everything about it. So. So I think the EMA too, because uh, it's the national yeah, yeah. selection. So all the people is talking about the EMA right now. So you are going to be famous there. Well, I mean, hopefully. But <laughs> I just want to show like love with my music. And I want people to feel it like I feel it. So that's the main thing. So... Thank you. Um, it was a curiosity because I don't know what is the feeling about uh, Eurovision there in Slovenia. We know here what is happening here or maybe in Portugal or France because our, our neighbors, but there it, uh, it is a little bit far. So it was a curiosity. So talking about um, Emma again, uh, what are your favorites and what do you think uh, are uh, your big competitors? Well, I mean, they are all competitors in some kind of way. Uh, like, mm -hmm. people have different gen genres of songs. Um, and I have, like, a bit different song. It's more personal. But I think, like, I like the most, the the best competitor there is, like, in my opinion, just... Um, that just depends on my music taste. So I'm talking about my music taste. I, I really like Jonathan. Mm -hmm. um, he has also some kind of popish, um, also emotional song. And I, I really love his voice. So he's my f favorite there. Mm -hmm. But about the competition, I think they are all very strong competitors and they all have a great chance. So. So apart, apart from you, if you have to choose one to win apart from you, uh, you will choose Jonathan. Yeah, I think so. But we want to, to win, to you, you to win. So we are going to root for yeah, you. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Um, um, moving to Eurovision, um, talking about the... Um, the whole show, you have uh, any entry that you really, really love from all the countries, your favorite entry or some, some entry that you, um, I don't know, uh, reminds you something or... Uh, do you mean like from all the Eurovision Song Contest that were in the past? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah, I really love... Uh, Benjamin Ingrosso, I don't, I, I think that he's pronounced like that. I think he was competing for Sweden. Yes. Uh, there, his song was Dance You Off. Mm -hmm. um, I really enjoy listening to, to some kind of pop, soul, funk music type of vibe. And he had like this kind of song, but I really actually also loved Saldi. Um, that was representing Italy and also the arcade who won. Those three were like kind of my favorite um, of all time. Very nice. Well, you are so young, so so your favorites it's uh, are from from the past, for the nearly past. Yeah, uh, I know the past. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so I'm um, from Slovenia. What uh, entry did you, did you like the most? Well, I loved Maya Keutz. Uh, she was singing Vanilla. Uh, I mean, um, no one in English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I loved her because she just has an amazing voice. She was very strong. And me as a strong vocalist, I just look at vocals pretty much because that's the main thing when I listen to music. And she was the strongest, in my opinion, um, competing for Slovenia. Thank you. And also um, the song was great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, I have uh, one last question about this. You remember uh, 
some Spanish entry, maybe, that you like it? Well, I know <laughs> you won, I think, two times, but I wasn't born yet. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, me neither. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm older, but not that older. <laughs> well, but I actually really love your entrance right now for this year. Like this girl um, who Chanel. is dancing and everything. And in my opinion, it's very strong. And I think you have a great chance this year with her. It, it is uh, my, my next, question, my next question, question if you uh, you know the Spanish entry for this year. So uh, you know it. So I yeah. we are glad too that you will love it. Maybe we uh, you can meet her in meet her in Turin uh, if you win. The, well, I'm the already a fan, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, after after the Emma, if you win or if you don't win, you know win. Um, what are your plans? Your future plans? Well. My future plans are actually to work on this song, make it and release it and try like to market it um, out of Slovenia since I'm working with people from that are from foreign countries. Like I work with Sean from Canada and Jonas Gladnikov from Sweden. Um, so yeah, we will try to put it out in, um, I don't know, UK and countries like that. Uh, but also I have planned I already made other songs to release soon after Naked, so that my career will just go on and not be not not die, if you know what I mean. I want to like continue. That was like my starting point now, Emma, and or maybe a revision, and I just wanna constantly continue that and release my music, so I build it up from here and make my living dream out of music. <laughs> Yeah. Very nice. Maybe you are going to make an album too after this, or you have this in yeah. mind, or? Well, I already have like a lot of songs written for the. I will. I wanted to release an EP, but since I have more songs than to just release EP, I'm thinking about releasing an album, like in at the end of the year. Um, but yeah, I first want to focus on this song and then there will be another like more dance vibe <laughs> song uh, because I'm also a dancer and it's just when I put like dance songs and dance together, it's just like it means a lot to me because I love both of these things. Um, but yeah, the album I'm planning to release at the end of the year. If everything go, goes as we planned. Very nice. So you are a dancer too. So you have this um, dance, dance experience or is something like a dancing career? Well, I was dancing is actually like my dad is also like a musician and my mom was a dancer. So I have both of these <laughs> genes and it, it kind of came naturally into me that I, I can also dance. I was actually dancing, break dancing when I was young. So it's, you know, when you do backflips <laughs> and turn on your head and everything like that. And then I also dance hip hop. So it's kind of different vibes from my song. So I can't dance in my performance. I will mm -hmm. try to do like this feminine moves, but not, you know, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I also dance and I love to put music and dance together and perform it like that. So you are like the perfect star because you have the dancing part and the singing part. You have an amazing voice. So you you are young you. also. You have all the future um, for you. So if you have anything to say to the Spanish audience and the, I don't know, to the world audience to, to, to convince us that you have the great song to represent Slovenia and, and win the Eurovision Song Contest is your moment. You have to, you ha if you want to, you have to do an, an statement. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I, 
first of all, I Spain, I love you. You're my favorite country actually in the world. As I talked to you before, I can now uh, show it off. <laughs> Please. I have a, a tattoo. <laughs> can you see? Yes. Oh, well, my tattoo, my, my tattoo says Ibiza. Um, I have been going there for seven years, and uh, yeah, the, you. Um, I will be faith, faithful to Spain all the time because <laughs> maybe I will even buy a house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, um, it, it is a little bit expensive, that. so you have to win a lot of money. <laughs> so 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 hopefully Spain can help me to win a revision, <laughs> and then I can become rich and buy a house <laughs> in Ibiza. <laughs> That's your no. statement and your your petition because it's something like, <laughs> please help me <laughs> to buy yeah. a, a house in your country. I, I would like yeah. a, a house in Ibiza too, eh? so uh, maybe a Spanish audience can send uh, both money to buy, to buy a house, two houses, one <laughs> next to the other. Houses. Yeah, but other than that, that I love Spain, um, I was working really hard, I'm still working really hard on my song and myself as an artist, and I have been wanting this for so much time because Eurovision is really like a festival full of love. We are not judging each other. I mean, we are judging, but you can be whoever you want to be. It's like a free-minded festival. And I want to represent that because, I don't know, it just, it would feel amazing to stand on stage with all of these amazing people from all around the world that share passion and my song is very strong and emotional and i will do my best to represent slovenia like with power and emotions and sell you off my song so <laughs> i hope you will enjoy my performance and yeah remember me i'm lea lien and i will go to ibiza <laughs> <laughs> i hope to uh, meet you there Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> so if, if you you have any amulet or any charm or anything that you that brings you luck for the next performance you have, or you have uh, any, I don't know how to explain it, um, any special thing that, that bring, brings you luck? Oh, do you mean if I have anything special for my yes, performance? Yes, it's like a charm, like an um, amulet. You know the, the word? I don't know, I don't know if there is any word to say it in English. Um, uh, it's like, uh, I don't know. I have this pearl with me all the time. I don't know. I, I can't find it. Oh. Because for me, it's something that brings me luck. So uh, if you have any amulet or something that, you, that brings you luck for the next performance, So if I have like some kind of good luck charm. Yes. Yeah. Well, I I have myself. I believe in <laughs> myself. I don't have nothing else but the support of my team. And um, yeah, I'm my own charm, good luck charm. And I just have to believe in myself and that's it. Yeah, you know what? We, here we in Spain, we are so obsessed about the... The lucky charms and also the um, the horoscope. Uh, you know our um, our, re our representative in touring Chanel uh, is very obsessed about the horoscope and the zodiac. And she is a Leo girl, and she is talking always about the horoscope or something like that. So we are talking a lot uh, now about this. So what do you feel about this? You, you know your horoscope do you feel that the zodiac and the horoscope are true or have something for you uh, that um, you know well i do believe in horoscope um, because i always like read i'm a i'm a bull i'm a taurus oh so i Yeah, yeah. So, so you have so a, a really of... good taste for clothes and for everything in the house, and yes, you, 
<laughs> well, I'm a fashionista. I can, so I can so tell I'm it be fashion. because of your outfit in your performance, because it, it was so, yeah. so nice. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I really love like this elegant, but also like street style fashion. It's like my passion. Street, fa street style fashion is my passion. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm a Taurus and I'm very fierce. I can be stubborn, but when I want to go for something, I will go for it. I, I won't give up on it. So I guess that's also lucky in some kind of way, but, um, I always read these zodiac signs and what is planned for me in the future. And I try to be positive and some like manifest the positive things in my life. So I get, I guess that brings me luck as well that I think positive. Very nice. So um, that's the, the final of the interview. We thank you so much for having us for for have this little moment to chat with us. Uh, we wish you a lot of luck uh, in the next Thank 12 you. February. We hope you seeing you in Turin and maybe then we, could, we will chat about your horoscope and if you have any lucky charm after winning the, the Emma and maybe <laughs> you can meet Chanel and talk about her dance moves and and bring you know something different about maybe your... i can dance something for you <laughs> yes you well. can tell her how to move with a, a little yeah. of a street style way so yeah. thank you so much leia and thank you it was a pleasure it was a pleasure yeah. too for us thank you so much thank you I love bye you guys. bye